Yeah, in Remake, I don't like how you meet Brad, then he immediately dies. And I also don't like how they made Brad actually somewhat hero a heroic character. I think Brad's whole thing is he's a coward. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess foreshadowing we're going to go to a clock tower at some point. Let's got me some ammo in here. Okay, good. Thank God. 30. Thank you, game. That's mighty generous. I'm just going to mash A on a bunch of stuff to see what you'll have to say. Yeah, I thought I saw something shiny. Right, I will need that lighter. Oh, I don't have a dedicated... Lighter lockpick spot in this game. So we find the lockpick fairly soon. I remember. Okay, oh, okay. <laughs> I hate in the remake how Nemesis just shows up for the moment you turn on the game. And there's no. Literally no build up or anything. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I think I need to go. I mean, I'll check the map. Huh, okay, I think, th if I remember correctly, I think this is a alternate costume, it's like a department store or something, and you can only get in there on New Game Plus when you have, like, a special key for it, and then you can change into, like, Jill's Resident Evil 1 costume, it's actually like, a ridiculous amount of costumes for this game, but that one notably, I think it's like a Dino Crisis-inspired outfit, some other stuff, but obviously don't have that yet, this is not New Game Plus, so... Also, I could be wrong. It could be somewhere we need to go. But I think that's what it is. I... Yeah, but this nemesis... I don't necessarily build up, but just having Jill explore the city for a little bit. I saw you, guy. Before nemesis shows up, and Brad mentioned that like this thing's hunting stars members... Find much more effective than Nemesis just Kool Aiding Man through Jill's apartment wall and then letting her get away for some reason and throwing her across the room instead of just snapping her neck and killing her very easily like he could. Alright. I can't remember if this is the room I'm thinking of or not. Yeah, it is. You gotta oil. Wait, oh, the real party is soaked with oil? I remember. God, I keep pressing A trying to skip dialogue getting trapped. I remember being very confused. Oh, did I got to combine with the lighter. Yeah, I remember something being confused with this puzzle my first playthrough because I'm stupid. All right, cool. Anything I? Oh, two red herbs. That's 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 pretty sick. Oh. Okay. I grab the other one. I'm mean, again. This game's. Pretty tough, so nice of them to give you a bunch of healing items off the bag, because that's two... Man, I feel like mixed herbs are fairly rare in other games. So flesh... Dang, I just want to stun him and run by. Burn it through ammo, but it's fine. It's Nemesis. Okay, uh... I know where we're about to be, which is pretty different. Oh, crap, dogs already? All right, I'm running. The, that, I think that's just a picture door, like a PNG. I, can't, I don't think I can interact with that because I was trying. It's crazy how faithful RE2 Remake was, and then how RE3 Remake was just more like a loose interpretation. It's just more like a game starring simple luck. Probably lock pick that later. Uh, RE3 Remix is kind of like Joe Valentine and Raccoon City with zombies. Being also Nemesis exist, but they did not try to follow the progression. Thought there'd be more enemies. More items. Alright, we're back to the RPD, which in the remake we'd only go as Carlos like halfway through the game. But we get to explain.
Yeah, that's showing how... Oh, yeah, we're definitely running here. Don't have... Not equipped to fight him now. But yeah, that's showcasing how ruthlessly efficient... Oh, hello. Nemesis is at uh, killing stars members a much more better intro. A better death for Brad, I think. Than, uh, or meaningful story-wise death than just kind of sacrificing himself so Jill can escape because he just gets bit on the arm. All right, there better be an Inabox here soon because uh, I don't want to not pick these up. I think, so I know in RE2 there's no item box in the main hall, which is kind of annoying. What does Jill say if you try to leave? Okay, that's what I thought. But I feel like in this game they did add one. I really hope they did at least. That is... Do I still have handgun ammo? Yeah, I do. That is unfortunate. I would not have picked up those herbs then. Especially when I already have two full ones. What was I thinking? Oh, well, map at least. Item box is not marked on the map. That's kind of annoying. Alright. Some weird thing with this. Okay, we do need a stars card. Okay, why, why do you make this so... I hate it when I put typewriters not in your item boxes. Like, I'm just going to have an ink ribbon on me. Oh, I can't go through here. It's backwards than I would tell. <laughs> this one's locked. Everything else is open, which... That's where Marvin dies. Um, I'm going to see what else is here. Cause I feel like there could be one in... I might be thinking of just remake. Oh, no, it's just boarded up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so in RE2, they're, like, locked through electric like key cards and stuff. But they clearly thought that'd be too confusing in RE3 for places they don't want you to get to. Because they're not going to have save the whole police station open deal. So it's kind of boarded up and the boards are gone by the time RE2 starts a few days later. Alright, well, you're too close. So, you don't get ahead. Dang, they left the party decorations for Leon out. Someone has made quite a mess in here. It's a very goofy thing to say, Jill. Dang, they already had Leon's party, party uh, stuff. Alright, I see a guy on the ground. Alright, I don't think I'm going to be able to get two in one shot, but let's try. Oh, didn't equip it. Oh yeah, that worked out better than I'd hoped. I think there's a dude on the ground. I assume he'll get up, if, hopefully, only if I walk near him. Is this Marvin? It is Marvin. Dang, he held out for a while. Sorry, two starts for like... Two days later or something? Oh, this is actually important. I had something completely dropped from Remake. So, like, kind of our main goal at the first is get a bunch of jewels to open this gate. The two were missing, okay. That's like how we access a lot more of the map. I think it's the 27th now in this game. Huh. Okay. Nothing. Dang. Dang, but well, yeah, Marvin held out. I guess he died and then... No, because you can talk to him in RE2. So yeah, he held out for a while. Jill is unconcerned about him. <laughs> It's already fatally wounded, even though he survives for a few more days before going zombie. Alright. Okay, where the hell is an item box? Cause I, there's a ton of stuff to pick up in that room, I remember. I, mean, I don't think they show up on the map, so it's kind of pointless, but... For me leaving. Yeah, the, the maps and the old Resident Evil games are not very good. Silent Hill is way better at that. Um... Crap. I guess... I know... I think there's a lot of zombies in this room, too. I guess I'll clear them out and then just not pick anything up. Because I can't. <laughs> and then hope to find an item box soon. Because there's got to be one on the police station. So when I stopped playing, it was like halfway through this police station part, I remember. Okay, this room's a ton of zombies. And... Both RE2 and... Okay, got one shot left. RE3. They, they hit people all the way across the room. All right, I know there's a. Uh, it's very dark. I'm gonna clear this room out because I know there's the uh, safe room right up here. You dead? 
It's very dark. I can't tell. All right, here's the item box. And save room. I'll go pick everything up in that other room, and then I'll go save. Got tons of healing items, so I'll be fine. I'll probably stop for the night. Review the recording, see if it, see if it went okay. All right, don't need you. Don't need you. Probably don't need the lighter. Um, so get that there. Anything in the dark room? Well, can I turn the light on to the dark room is the real question. Where's the light switch at? I thought it was there. I'm getting remake memories messed up. I feel like if I turn the lights, there might be like hidden items or something. All right, whatever. I have a good amount of handgun bullets right now, but also you can always use more. So yeah, I guess I'll show off. I'll start the stupid gunpowder mechanic. So you gotta, I don't actually don't remember. I have to read it. Combine it. Oh, you straight up combine it? I don't, okay. I thought you had to combine two gunpowders, but no. All right. I guess at least that's one upside as with the rating mechanic is one single thing of gunpowder still has value in this game. All right. Feeling pretty good. And yeah, I'll be back here soon. I don't need any equipment. I'm in yellow. If I get hurt more, I'll eat the one herb and hopefully be fine. And then... Got a bunch more healing there. That's not the door I came through, right? This one was. Should I always forget this door ex exists? I don't remember this, actually. Alright, so there's a blue gem, which we read the Marvin thing. We know we need that for progression at some point. I swore there's a ton of zombies in here. I don't know. That's it. I expected a lot more. Let's see if I can go to that other door. Then we'll go back and save. Yeah, between Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and the two remakes all being on the police station, it's very hard to get. And plus, there's you know, A and B scenarios of RE2. It's just, man, it is tough to fit, remember what happens when. Um, I don't. Looks like it's a dead end here. So I want to keep. Is there two of them? Dang it. Don't tell me there's three. Alright, we'll leave one alive. I hope we can sneak sneak around his back. Is this the conference room? Yeah. Where do they get to reload these games? So I thought I would. Alright. Let's file. That's a weird spot for any equipment. Looks like there's, yeah, all the zombies chill. It's like a file. Oh no, Star's card. Okay, I think I think I'm already two again. So anyway, that will open us the stuff and the, with the computer. And then I hope we can't go here. Oh wait, should I brought the lighter here? I mean, this does stuff in a. Oh hey, this gets you a crystal or a jewel, whatever, in re two. Oh no, they explicitly say it's something you can do with the fireplace. I guess they don't want to cause continuity issues with Jill already solving that puzzle. Even though they happily do it elsewhere. As you'll see. Alright, well sweet shotgun shells. That was a very useful trip. And Star's card. Alright. Man. I feel like it's a dead end, but I'm so close I want to explore. Oh, we got seven of these bad boys. Open. Oh, but I at least damaged the second guy. There's a third guy? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Well. Did you still lie? This is outrageous. Oh, only orange caution. We're fine then. 
this point, I, was, I should have saved and I got to do this. Hey. All right, not being a fisher with resources, don't care. I want to know what's in this corner. Dang, I really should have cared. <laughs> All right, that's is two red herbs worth like four shotgun shells and three shotgun shells and like 15 or whatever handgun bullets? Probably. Though I'd feel better if I didn't use that green herb. Although I'm sure there will be more. That is such a large pile of corpses. All right, I knew there wasn't anything necessary there because I could tell from the map it was blocked off. But gl glad I explored. All right, let's go save. And then I think like this right like saving right here is right where I stopped my practice playthrough. Like two months ago or whatever, whenever that was, who knows. Alright, um So many ink ribbons. Alright. Are you sure I can't turn off the lights in the dark room? That looks like a light switch right there. Alright, whatever. I'll save in a Review the footage, see how it looks, and try a new uh, visual setting for next time.